Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to how to control the wub wub sound through velocity markers. So, in this episode, um, I'll be telling you how to do that, showing you how to do that. And, uh, you know, it's a really convenient way to, you know, get that right dub dub tempo or, you know, fluctuation in our synthesizer, right? So, I'll be using Harmer in this uh, tutorial and, uh, yeah, show you guys how easy it is to control that sound. So here we go, as you can see, in my velocity mapping section, the filter of my synthesizer is fluctuating depending on how hard or how soft my velocity is. And this is just a great way to do that dub dub sound without automation, because uh, we all know, for those that create you know, that sound, that it can get very redundant doing that through automation. So let's get started. I'll start off new so we don't get distracted or anything. And we're going to open up Harmer. And there we go. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, make sure our velocity stays the same no matter what um, our hardness or softness that we hit on our keyboard or use to play. So as you can hear, that's what I'm talking about. We need to get rid of that right there. So we're going to go. We're going to go into our global section here, and hit up the velocity to volume knob right there. So now, no matter how soft or how hard, it's going to stay very consistent, and uh, with that velo uh, with that volume, right? The next thing we need to do is to create that dub dub sound. We need to use our frequency, which is right here, and uh, make sure it fluctuates. So let me give you an example. Right, so we need to do that, and that's really easy to do. So we're gonna put this all the way down. Uh, that's uh, you know a standard step. We need to make sure it starts from zero and then it fluctuates all the way up, right? And we're gonna go back to our global section here. Go to our little tab and go to our filter one frequency because that's what we need to do to fluctuate, right? We need to go into our filter one, which is this. And make sure that goes crazy, right? The next thing we need to do is affect the velocity mapping. Now, by doing this, we'll give you some cool tones, right? So we have a whole line here and two points. We want to make the right side all the way up. So now, when I hit soft, it sounds like that. But if I hit hard, you get a you know different tone, okay? So that's good there. We have a little bit of randomness happening. The next thing we want to do is mess around with an LFO so that we can get a consistent, steady um, tempo going. Right? So there we go. Filter one frequency, messing around with the LFO. Good. Now, you won't hear anything at first because you need to enable it. And to do that, you just click this button here. And we're going to just stretch up this little, um, little point there so that we can get more drastic change. Right, and we're gonna snap this to tempo, so it's easy for us later on. Now, whatever setting you leave it at will be the highest velocity um, setting, if you would. Right, so if I hit very hard, um, that would be the speed in which we use. So we're gonna leave that all the way up. And now this is not gonna change yet because we need to go mess around with the global LFO. So let's do that. Go into a little drop down again, global LFO speed. Bang. So there we go. Now, uh, it looks kind of weird because we're in keyboard mapping. We don't want to do that. Now, keyboard mapping is just, you know, wherever I hit the keyboard, uh, it will show up on this little graph. We want to go to velocity mapping, right? Because we want to hit our keyboard soft so we get that, you know, slow speed or hit it very hard to get the high speed. So in order to do that, we just bring this little point here in the left halfway. And if we go past half halfway, we'll just be doing the opposite. And we don't really want to do that. right? So there we go. If I hit very soft, good. And it's very slow. And you get a, weird, a different uh, tone. right? If I hit harder, right? we get faster speeds. Now, let's go back to our filter one frequency. And we're going to go to our LFO. Right, let me just unzoom again. 
there we go. And I don't really like this speed, right? Because this is way too fast. I like to bring it down a little slower. So it's gonna stretch and we're gonna wait till it snaps. There we go. And I like this speed. You can appreciate the, wob uh, the wobbling effect a little more. Cool, so that's pretty much it to, you know, um, get that going, right? And we can also change the tension. Right? So, you know, depending on how you like it, everything's to taste, there are no rules with that. And uh, now we can go to our piano roll. Just do that. And let's get the uh, bass line going. Let's just do this. Do that. And let's just loop that so we can, you know, just get really good understanding. So copy and paste. Copy and paste, copy and paste. There we go. So now, if we go to our velocity section down here and we control our little velocity meters or markers, is you know what I call them, we can get a different tempo in our wobbling effect. Right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you control your wub wub sound, your f basically filter one frequency through velocity markers, right? Um, it's a lot easier than doing automation for those, uh, you know, very familiar with this wub wub sound. And, uh, you know, it's more accurate when we, uh, and less redundant when we do this sound. Um, some good tips is uh, I like to bring that to the middle if you're using the default setting. And I also like to distort the sound. So if you guys want to go ahead and you know apply your effects, you know, by all means, there's no, uh, there's no, there are no rules when it comes to getting your sound right. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you have any comments or questions, just leave a comment below, and hopefully I'll answer them pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.